Okay, so uh, some more randomness I'm going to throw out everybody. It's the uh, revolution of ideas, number two. You know, and at first I, I should probably explain like what I mean by love your fellow man. When I say love, I don't mean like you know hug and kiss and you know play grab butt you know grab butt with. What I mean by love is that you know they're in even like the philosophical and even the religious sense. There's like three states. There's neutrality, love, and hate. And neutrality can mean a lot of different things. Love can mean a lot of different things. Hate can mean a lot of different things. Um, in the case of love, it's it goes beyond. Or it's like uh, it extends a, it covers a whole big thing like you know showing charity and generosity to you know kindness and even um, you know verbal encouragement so you can like you know talk to somebody and, and just you know just say nice things to them and that's like expressing love to your fellow man you know and it's just you know this idea of brotherhood of that you know we can live together as equals and not try to one up on each other not try to put each you know either pull each other down even. You know, it's like if you're in a community, in any kind of community, you could be a neighborhood, you could be a town, you could be a valley, you know, you could be a city, a borough in the city, you could be any, you know, any place. If you are a community, you know, which means that you interact with the same group of people on a regular basis, you can be a brotherhood. And, you know, and that means both men and women, that, uh, you know, you can exist in this environment where you, you look out for each other and you look out for each other's best interests. And this includes, you know, just, you know, like, just things like, you know, you, you help with each other's trash, uh, you know, somebody's newspaper doesn't make it quite to where it's at, you know, you toss it to them, you know, if you're making a, you know, a run to the, you know, post office, you can ask your neighbor, that sort of thing, to, like, even, you know, you have barbecues, and you have, um, you know, parties and invite your neighbors, and stuff like that, um, and it can mean a lot of other things that, you know, when you see somebody in trouble, you look, you know, you step up and ask them if you can help. You know, you offer your, yourself what you can to your fellow man. And, you know, and the thing is, that's kind of part of a religious aspect. But, you know, <laughs> the way I view it is that religion is a good tool for teaching people how to live together in harmony. And so regardless of what religion you believe in, you know, you should really take it as, this is how I should live in a community. This is how I should look to my fellow, you know, human beings around me, and how I should treat them. And, you know, really, that's just the core you should take from it. You shouldn't let religion, you know, religious fanaticism overwhelm you. And you, or she, you should not even allow it to be encouraged. You know, because how can we have so many religions, and, they, and how can they all be right? So why not just have everybody be right? Just accept everybody's ideal. And accept that you know, everybody's going to have their own ideal, their own vision, and their own goal and view of life. So why not accept that? And on top of that, you know, why not add love to the equation? You know, why not, you know, don't think about, or don't see, like, the bum on the street and, you know, how can we bug this guy? How can we, you know, get a cheap laugh off of, like, pushing over a shopping cart or throwing things at him. Think about, like, well, what is this, you know, why is this guy a bum? Is this guy crazy? Is the guy got problems? You know, what does the guy need to help him? You know, and you don't even have to talk to the guy. You can just, you know, look at him and, you know, say to yourself, what does, what is this guy doing? What is he lacking? What, you know, what is being done for him? What can he do for himself? What information, you know, could this guy use that would, that might help him, might brighten his day? What nice thing can you say to the guy to, you know, because the guy could be having a bad day. I know, you know, if I was on the street, I'd be having a bad day. So, you know, so, say something nice to the guy. Say, hey, you know, hey, buddy, you know, or, you know, you know, stay warm, or, you know, hey, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, that sort of thing, you know. It's just stuff like that, you know, and because it's not so much that karma exists, you know, and karma can be a real thing, but it's, uh, it's this idea of reciprocity. That, uh, you know, if you do a good thing for somebody, somebody's going to do a good thing for somebody else. You know, and that's that's kind of like what that one movie with uh, Haley Joel Osment and Kevin Spacey was about. You know, pay it forward. And that, you know, if you just do something nice, something good to, you know, your fellow man, it should get around back to you in some way or another. And it's because, you know, positive energy is energy, as is negative energy. 
You know, if you're negative to the people around you, it's going to spread. If you're positive to the people around you, that will spread as well. You know, that's all I'm, you know, if anybody is listening or, you know, yeah, really just listening to this, you know, I hope they're not watching me, but just think of it like that. You know, this is just, you know, there's energy that can exist and that, you know, it can be positive energy. You know, and, and I say this because, uh, you know, it's like if I listen to some good music, that music will pump me up. So, you know, if I hear just some awesome metal, you know, especially stuff by Slipknot, you know, it's just, it, it's powerful. It's like, oh, God, you know, just, you know, rock. Hell yeah. And that's energy. That's energy, you know, flowing from the music into me. Same with, you know, like a lot of Metallica songs. And, you know, just, there's a lot of music. Just, you know, very powerful, very, you know, well done. You know, and it's and it's not just rock. You know, same with Sarah McLachlan. So, and then Dido. You know, I, I can listen to those women and, you know, the way their voice works. And it's just, yeah, you know, that's just, it's energy. It's beautiful energy, you know, just coming out and, you know, giving to me. Um, you know, and that's just part of the environment you're in, part of the environment you create for yourself. You know, so you, you know, you can be a badass, you know, hardcore, thick, you know, leather, leathery skin, bony jaw, just like pissed off view of the world kind of guy, you know, but you can still be positive. You can like, you know, you can laugh at little things, but you know, you can just not think that, you know, everybody's against you or everybody's, you know, working against you. It's like, all right, you know, what's going on? How can I help? You know, and that's even what I'm doing in my own little community. I'm looking at these little kids running around, you know, having a good time. It's like, well, you know, I wonder if there's something more I could do for them, you know. And I thought about, you know, getting them to, getting them to uh, decorate my house or help, like, do this decoration idea. And I'd pay them, like, you know, these little kids, like, five bucks and say, you know, just help me string some lights. You know, and then I find out, well, my mom doesn't have any you know, Christmas lights anymore, so. Oh, well. But, um. Uh, you know, it, there's all these philosophies, all these ideas that people spout and have and think about. And it's like, you know, a lot of them are kind of the same thing. This, you know, and, and a lot of them spouse the same ideals, you know, but it's just that some have their own slants or some, some of these people came to their opinion in their own way. And, you know, it's just, you know, really it's just, it's all about philosophy and life and how you approach life. Um, I like supporting Wayne Dyer because I agree with the way he approaches things, you know. And but at the same time, you know, I gotta be my own guy because why not? <laughs> um, you know, but it's like I've approached things my, from my own perspective, and uh, I've you know trial and error to different approaches in my life, and in particular, like one of those things was uh, stress. You know, I, because I'm a writer, because I'm always, you know, fascinated by, like, you know, <clears throat> what goes into writing, how do you craft a character, what makes something, what makes a person, you know, important or special. And it's like, it seems that in a lot of cases, you know, what you need to craft a hero, to craft somebody, you know, to change a person from one thing to another thing, you need stress. You have to put them in a stressful situation, which could be anything, like, you know, loss of a family member to... You know, they're kicked out of their family home. Um, to even, like, you know, oh, first girlfriend left them. To, like, you know, anything. You know, like the horrors of war. So any kind of stress. And it's, it's going to change people. And that scene, and the thing is that it has, like, a back up in uh, psychology. That, you know, the stress in your environment, the stress you face and feel and overcome, it's going to affect you. You know, and we have a lot of examples of how, like, really horrible, bad, stressful situations, like, especially, you know, people who have, you know, they've suffered a lot, uh, in terms of, you know, like, just family problems or illness, you know, they, how do they come out of those things? Glowing people, giving people, they're thankful for everything, they're thankful for every day they live, you know, and, you know, and why? What happened to them? Well, they fell on some bad luck, and then came out of that and had some good luck, and, you know, old story of Job, you know, like, you could be living well, and just horrible things can happen to you, you know, but it's like, it's just the luck of the, you know, just the way things go, and, you know, for myself, I, I feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, if there is, you know, if there is a divine being out there, you know, I must have done something bad, because, you know, every once in a while, I was like, oh, man, just grinding, grinding, 